What's up guys, this is gonna be a quick video about how you can set up scent channels in the Eiffel Studio Mixer. Let's get to it. So in Eiffel Studio, we have the mixer right here. Right now you can see I don't have any scents. So what I like to do is that I want to go all the way to the end of my last channel. I'm gonna right click on it and then go down to layout and select dock to the right because then we get it over here. So it's kind of like stuck to the right so I can always access it. So the first thing that I wanna do is that I want to create a reverb scent give it a color. I like to be organized when I'm working in Apple Studio. We can go here and dock another one to the right. We can call this delay send. Also gonna get the blue color and we can create, let's just make a chorus send. You can quickly shift channels by holding down alt and using the arrow keys. So how sense works is basically that you Go down here, you have the routing options down here. You can see that the mallets are being routed to the master output, but I also want to route the mallets to these scents. And you can see these different arrow icons down here. You simply just click on them. And now you can see I'm routing a full signal to the reverb scent, the delay scent, and the chorus scent. By default, I just want to have these to zero. So it's better to have a practical example. So we're going to go to reverb scent. I'm going to choose the fruity reverb 2. And when you're working with scents, I personally like to have only the wet signal and no dry signal because the dry signal is already being routed to the master out. I only want to have the wet signal being sent from the reverb scent to the master out. I hope that makes sense. So now we have set up the reverb. I can go and play my melodies and then I can increase this knob down here. Now we get some sweet reverb to the melodies. And you can basically pretty quickly just uh, bypass this by clicking here. And now I don't have any signal. And then we can enable it again. You can decrease the volume overall of the reverb send by cranking up the slider up or down. But this is affecting the overall reverb sense. So this is the channel, so the volume of the channel. If you want to decrease it, it's gonna affect all of the different sounds that you're routing to the reverb sense. Just bear that in mind. I can choose a delay. I like to have the replica XT. I'm gonna put this to mix to 100%. And then we can do the same thing, play the sound. And we get some lovely delay. And for the chorus, we can go and select the chorus dimension D from Atoria. And I can go here to the mix, put this to 100%, and we can also do the same thing. The benefits of using Sense are that you can reduce your CPU usage. Instead of having to load a reverb plugin on each of your different channels, that can take up a lot of CPU. The other benefit is that you use only a couple of reverb plugins and delay plugins. That can mean that your sounds that you're putting into the reverb or the delays sound more as being in one room. That can be a huge benefit if you're going for like a more like joint together sound. I just like to do it because it's just more, it's quicker to, instead of having to put in like a dedicated reverb delay plugin and so on, I can just grab a sound and route it to the sense and then I add the effect immediately. Like one tip that I wanna to add to using Sense is that when you're using these plugins, they can generate some unwanted frequencies. So usually when I'm using like, for instance, the reverb scent and the delay scent, I actually want to add an EQ afterwards. You can either load up a dedicated EQ plugin or you can use the built-in equalizer in the Apple Studio Mixer. So that's totally up to you. I like to use this because then I can save a little bit of CPU. And generally it's just doing like a, some kind of like a high pass cut to remove like, so I don't get unwanted low end, but this is not like rule of thumb. This is just how I do it. So pretty cool. Easy stuff with the sense. So that's actually how I set them up. I have one extra tip that you should try to do in terms of getting a better workflow. It is to save your sent channels. 
So I have two ways that you can do this. You can either go and create a whole door template. So that means setting all of this up and then you can go up and save your project and you can save it as a template. And then you can use this template as the starting point each time that you open up FL Studio. That's one way to do it. The other way is to just go to the specific channel, right click on it. You can go to file, then you can say save mixer track state else. You save the channel and then you get all of these stages down here. So you can see there is already, I think this is the default mixer channel presets in FL Studio. But if I go and select this reverb send, it basically puts up a reverb here. So that's what you should do in terms of speeding up your workflow instead of having to do this each session each project that you open you shouldn't send like set this up each time if it's the same plugin that you use for your sense i hope that makes sense that's actually it for the video i just wanted to provide as much value in this video so if you liked it it means so much to me if you would smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel okay guys i hope to see you in the next video take care peace